Good morning everyone. It's about 7.30 in the morning and I woke up and came downstairs and saw this layer of frost all over the backyard. It is getting cold. Hello, it's Saturday morning and I'm so excited because I'm about to go to the plant store, to the nursery. Um, but first I'm just doing a quick walk around the backyard to see uh, kind of what I need. So I'm inspecting my hanging baskets and I can't tell if these are still alive or not. I think they are, but at the same time, I think that they're, they don't have much time left. Um, I do think we have a night coming up where it's going to be in the 20s and that will probably take them out completely. So I probably do need to replace all these. The pan, these pansies are green. So I think they're still okay too, but I'm not, I'm really bad at this. I can't, it's hard for me to tell. So let me check out, see like, these ones over here, there are definitely blooms. Like these are healthy, like new blooms. And just a reminder that these were the snowstorm giant snowflake. Um, what does it say? It says, it says they're hardy to 30 degrees. So we've definitely had some 30 degree nights. So they should be okay. However, like I said, we do have a night coming up in the 20s and that's probably gonna take them out for good. Uh, these two, I think uh, because they're in the most shade from the, I don't know why, but these two seem to be doing totally fine. Um, I think the cold pretty much took out the vincas. So these can go, these are, yeah, these are pretty much dead. This is, this is doing fine. But for how long is the question? And I think it's finally time to pick this pumpkin. Um, I might need, I might need two hands to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands. Give me a second here. So here are the two pumpkins. This one got probably one third orange and this one got a little bit orange. I'm not sure if you can do anything as far as cooking with green pumpkins like you can do with green tomatoes. I don't know. I think these are just going to go in the front and be added to the fall display out on the front porch. All right, so you can see that these two pumpkins have been added to the front porch fall display. Um, I never took my Secrezia, well, I did take my Secrezia in a couple times, but it just didn't seem to be happy inside. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna keep it outside. I'm not gonna try to overwinter it inside. And it's pretty much, the cold has pretty much taken it. Uh, did it say what this is good to? It doesn't say on the tag how much cold it will tolerate. Um, but when I go to the nursery today, one of the things I'm going to look for is to see if there's a, um, like an outdoor plant that I can put in here or find an indoor plant and move this inside because I like this pot. Uh, and then here's my fall container. This is the primary reason I'm going to the nursery, um, to get some things for this. However, these marigolds, uh, not marigolds, I keep saying that, these, um, chrysanthemums, these are one of the ones that I got for 50 cents at Home Depot or Lowe's, one of those. They were on clearance and it's like 50 cents, whatever, even if I get a week out of them, but they're doing the best out of anything. So these are mums that I planted a little bit earlier, but they kind of look a little bit cold damaged. They're still green. So they're like maybe okay, like maybe with some deadheading, they would still be fine. I don't know, but these are doing great. Like they're beautiful. The, the, uh, coleus, lime coleus, uh, that needs to be replaced. Uh, the Nagoya rose flowering kale is doing fine. Um, the, these are 
these are perennial they'll come back as soon as it's warm and again uh, pansy the nice and green flowers are not so great but it's nice and green and it looks like it's putting on new leaves so <laughs> This is gonna be a tricky one because I like this is right in the middle. So do I plant around it or do I kind of take it out and reposition it? So this is still good, this is still good. I think this is still good. This look, okay, never mind. There's even like a new bloom coming on here. So this is good. So really what I just kind of need is maybe like another kind of tall thing to stick back here and maybe some stuff up here. Although I don't know if I want to totally replace this because this comes back so maybe just like one tall thing and maybe some small things yeah this is still gonna give me life for a while um all right let's go to the nursery let's see what they have so some of the choices are hellebores which um are designed for winter early spring and they will flower and are evergreen that could look really nice in the fall container I really love these dwarf um, spruces. Even putting some of these in the containers in the back and creating like a mini like, Christmas scene, I think would be really pretty. It says that these grow seven feet in 35 years, so they stay pretty compact. So I think they would be happy in containers. Here is a winter green that has berries when it's cold and white flowers when it's warm. That would look really nice in a container as well. Okay, so let me show you my haul from the nursery. This was $148 total, uh, but I do think that that is a good investment because all of the plants that I purchased are evergreen and some even flower in the winter so they should last me for years and they'll provide great winter interest plus they will still provide interest in all of the other seasons as well so let's just start from the left this is a dwarf alberta spruce and what i thought was so interesting about this is it only grows seven feet in 35 years so even in the ground, it would stay very small. So it made me think that it would be very happy in a container. Um, and it says it like sun to partial sun. So it's actually perfect for this container right here. Um, and I just thought because it's so tall and thin, it would just fit so perfectly right back there. Um, does it say what zone it is on here? doesn't have the zone listed on here um, but one tip is for containers in the winter you want to pick plants that are two zones below so for me that would be zone four uh, because you know containers since they're above the ground the soil can get colder a lot faster so picking plants that will do well two zones below yours will ensure that they can handle uh, the temperatures as the so as the overall temperature in the container does go down. Um, so this right here actually has flowers right now and these blooms will stay on for, the lady at the nursery said like for the next three to four months, like that's, that's so darling. Um, this is a Helleborus niger or Christmas rose. Um, so it blooms winter to early spring. Um, this I'm planning to put in the back in one of the containers. Uh, and see, that's USDA zone four. It's good to negative 30. Uh, so it's gonna be totally fine. Um, and I'm putting it in the container in the back, which uh, right now in the winter gets tons of sun because the maple tree will lose its leaves but is very shaded from the maple tree and the fence in the winter time and i think this said yeah a great area to plant lenten rose is under deciduous trees where they will get the full sun during winter months and then in the summer the shade will actually help it out um this is a brandy wine it's also a helleborus this is lenten rose um but this has some more color than this one has. Um, pretty much the same thing here. Um, and 
and the uh, leaves are evergreen, which really appealed to me. So even when this is not flowering, you'll still have nice green leaves uh, all year round. This is another hellebore. So I went a little crazy on the hellebores. This one is called French Kiss and those flowers also look really interesting. I think they'll be really pretty. Um, I'm planning on putting all three of these in the same container. I tend to, I feel like, un, like plant containers with plants really spaced out because I assume they will fill out, but I want to take the approach of just planting them completely filled to begin with. And then this is in a huja, which I'm also planning on putting in one of the containers in the back. Um, this will grow up to nine inches. Uh, at some point in the year, it'll get these pretty bugle blue flowers. Um, it's good zones three to nine. Uh, I don't know when it flowers. It doesn't say. Um, I did plant blue ahuja like a different variety when I first moved to this house and it did not do well. But back then I didn't really know what I was doing anyway. I have a little bit more experience now. Um, and then I got this uh, Christmas winter green. Um, this is also for this container right here. I'm going to put it in here. Um, this has it will have berries through the winter and it gets little white flowers in the spring. Um, it has tips for keeping this inside. I think a lot of people are very tempted to buy this kind of stuff for inside. It does, does not do well inside. It likes the cold. Um, this is good down to negative 40. So it would be very, I actually wonder if it would survive the when it gets warmer here. Um, that's my question, but um, yeah, uh, excited about this one. And then finally, this I also got for the container in the back. This is another dwarf spruce. Just look how cute that is. It's so cute. It's so cute. Um, dwarf Alberta spruce. Anything notable about this one? So this will only get six feet tall if... I were to actually plant it in the ground, also a slow grower, so I'm like, it'll be fine um, in the in a container. It wants full sun, but it, since it is zone two to seven in the summer, I think it's good where I want to put this. It'll be in the shade so it won't get too hot. I think this looks like the type of thing that too much sun will just crisp it out and kill it immediately. Um, yeah, so that's everything that I got. I'm going to definitely plant this one up right now. I might save the ones in the back for later. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here it is potted up. This spruce took a lot more room than I expected, so I actually had to take the purple marigolds out and I'm debating whether I wanna to try to plant those in like right there in the center um, or if I just want to plant them somewhere else entirely. I can't decide if there's, I could cram them in between the blue spruce and the kale. I could, but it would be a tight fit, but there is like a hole there. Um, these pansies, I think, are actually going to put on new blooms. Um, and then these mums, I noticed, actually have tons of like little new blooms coming. Uh, this is the the winter winter green um, I think it looks really nice you know what I think I'm gonna try to cram the purple marigolds back in there I'm gonna go for it uh, but even without the purple marigolds I think I do really like this look uh, I really like the spruce I think it's really pretty it was a super tight squeeze but I did get the um, purple mums back in there and I'm glad I did because I think they just complete this pot. Uh, once the orange ones put on some more blooms and the pansies come out, I think this is going to be really pretty. Whatever, you know, whatever blooms we can continue to get out of it. Uh, the blue spruce will be the anchor 
throughout the winter. Um, you know, normally you would probably center something like that, but since this is kind of in the corner, I did put it in the back of the pot. I'm a little worried that it's a little close to the edge of the pot and its roots might get cold. But again, this is facing the house, so it's very protected. It's not as exposed. I might push it back into the corner a little bit more. Um, but I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, I think once the, the winter green, I mean, it already has a ton more berries, but maybe if it gets a little bit more growth. Um, and I think the kale is also like still growing because I got dirt all over it. But the center is like still a very bright purple. So I think it's still like growing. Um, yeah, yay. Oh, and I should mention that I dug up the dianthus and kind of tried to save them. I'm going to try to transplant them in the back and see how well that works out. Here's the container from this angle. I think it looks nice. Okay, I don't know if this has any shot at all of surviving, but I thought I'd give it a try. Not too heartbroken if it doesn't, but I don't know. There's nothing else I have to put in this pot at the moment anyway, so we'll see. Talking about plants that do well over multiple seasons, do you remember this wheelbarrow that I planted in the beginning of spring? You can see that the cat mint uh, is, has taken over. Uh, still, still very green, um, and I just... I love when things bush over like that and you can see like the old wheelbarrow handlebars peeking out. I love that. The, the Rumex. Rumex is still adding like great interest right in the center of this. Still looks completely healthy. And the Lamium, um, you can see that it's struggling a little bit, but for the most part still, still doing great up here and back here. Um, just over this edge, but like overall, like this wheelbarrow is looking fantastic in early November and it looked this good, I remember, in like May. Um, one thing I want to do, it definitely is falling over, so this is going to be like on the to-do list for the husband, but I think we need some like stakes to prop it up so that it's kind of standing up properly. Like luckily the plants are so bushy and overflowing you can't really tell but I think it was it was properly stood up and not leaning over you can kind of tell that it's like fallen over it's slumped over it would just look that much nicer and from this angle these containers just look so nice so I cleaned this one up a little bit when I came back here I was so surprised the pansies are doing really well back here I think they like shade and I think they like wet soil because um, they're really nice and green. They've actually like put on growth and like here you can see fresh leaves. Um, I don't see blooms on these ones, but if you like in this container, look at this. These are doing fantastically back here, like beautiful flowers. I think maybe like earlier when we still had those, that warm streak, like right after I planted them, I don't think they like the warmth. It looks like they love the cold. So actually these might be resurrecting themselves. Uh, we'll see if they survive the night that we have coming up in the 20s, but like gorgeous. That's like beautiful. That's a recent bloom. It's doing great. Um, these are the 50 cent mums. I think, you know, there needs to be some deadheading going on here, but I bet if I spent 30 seconds looking through this, I would find, yep, yep, there are new, new buds forming even on these. So I'm just going to see how long they go, how much life they give me. I took the tomato plant out of this one. It was still producing tomatoes. There were still green tomatoes on it that were plump, but I was like, ah, oh, this is not going to last that much longer. So I just took it out. Um, and that revealed some of the beautiful ground cover that I planted last season that came back. I forget what this is. And this salvia, I think, is dead, but I'm not pulling it up quite yet because I think this purple is really pretty. So just leaving it because I don't really have 
anything to put in its place right now anyway now oh my gosh should I have left the tomato because no it's too cold it wasn't gonna last that much longer so anyway um this is the one where I was thinking about putting that other spruce and some of the hellebores but like these pansies are doing so well I think I'm gonna have to carefully transplant these maybe into the open spot over there maybe that's what I will do or and like maybe fill them in in here or I could even put the pansies in the hanging baskets over there I have a lot of options what I could do I don't know what I want to do okay so I actually just went ahead and planted this one I moved the pansies over to the other container and then I put the blue spruce right in the center and the hellebores uh, in three of the corners and I'll find either put something back there or just leave that empty um, I think it looks really nice uh, I wish I had positioned the blue spruce all differently so this side was in the front because it's bushier and nicer I always do that I position my plants like the most awful possible way I feel like there's like this exposed <laughs> ugly branch here it looks so much nicer on the other side so that's the video for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Actually, as I was editing the video, I realized that I kind of hate the way that the container looks in the front, my winter container. Just on camera, I was like, oof, it's not pretty. So that might evolve, um, so stay tuned. But again, thank you for everyone who watches my videos and we'll see you next week, bye.